Now note that first of all, you got kind of like some formatting issues where over here, for example, it's an Arial 8 and up here you've got different formatting 14 and so on. So I'd like to start off with everything simply the same formatting. And I usually start off with the Excel formatting over here, which is standard Excel Calibri 11. So I'm gonna go in my cursor over here, home tab, clipboard, paintbrush, and then put my paintbrush down on the uh, triangle, paintbrushing the entire thing so that it's just standard formatting. And then I'm gonna right click on it and format what I want it to be. Right click, format the cells. And then I'm gonna go to uh, usually I go to currency, negative numbers bracketed in red, get rid of the dollar sign. And we don't really need the pennies in a budget. So I'm gonna get rid of the decimals as well because it's gonna be rounded because it's a budget anyways. So I'm gonna say, okay. I also like making it bold for the practice problem because I think that might stand out in the videos a little bit more. So you may not need to do that, but I'm gonna do that. There we have it. Now all of the data in here, notice how it still kind of looks like a formula. It has an equal sign in front of it. I'd like to make everything just hard-coded numbers and not have any formulas when I start to manipulate the data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two columns entirely. I'm gonna right-click and copy them. And then I'm gonna right-click and paste it one, two, three values only. So you don't have any formulas. They're just hard-coded numbers now, no equal signs. The totals down here are now worthless because there's no equal sign or summing so I can get rid of that whole column. Now I'm just gonna trim this thing down to what I want. I don't need the header, so I can put my cursor on column or row one. This is a row, not a column. I gotta get these straights. I don't need the debits and credits. I'm gonna delete that, right click and delete. And then everything down to the income statement, I can remove. So it's in order, assets and then liabilities and then equity and then the income statement, which starts right about here, right there, exactly. So everything above there, I don't need. I want to remove it. So I'm gonna put my cursor on column or row 24 and drag up to the top and then right click and delete all that stuff. So that's gone. I also don't need this junk down below. The totals doesn't do anything for us. So I'm gonna put my cursor on col or row 18 and drag down to 25 or so, right click and delete. So we trimmed it down to what we need. What I'd like to do now is have everything in the same, in the same column and possibly have the uh, income numbers, which are on the credit side, to be positive and the expense numbers to be negative. That'll be the easiest thing for most people to read. So we're not doing debits and credits, we're just doing plus and minus income positive uh, and the expense is negative. So all the ones on the debit side are decreasing the income statement. So I could go to each of these and kind of put a negative in front of it. But the e there's a trick to do this. We could just copy the whole thing. I'm gonna put my cursor on column B, right click and copy it. And, and I'm gonna copy it because I, I could cut it, but I'm gonna copy it just in case I, may, I mess up. I gotta make sure I'm in row one because I copied the whole column. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste it special. I wanna paste it special, it's a super special pasting. And I wanna click this subtract button, which means it should paste everything but flip the sign making it a negative number. Let's see if it does, boom, it does. So that looks good. So now I'm gonna say okay, now I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna put it right back down over here because that's where I want it to be paste it. The only reason I don't do that at the beginning is because I kind of test it out. You could have just copied and pasted it right on top of the same numbers and flipped the sign would have been a little bit faster. I'm going to put my cursor on column E and right click and delete it. Don't need it now. And now I'm going to move all this stuff to the same column. So I could do that by, I could go one by one and, and drag it over like this, or I can right click and cut and paste it which is I think an easier way to do it. Or I can take, I can control X on these two. This is the way I'll do it from here on and control V. That's the easiest way to do it. It's the same as basically moving it with your cursor here to just cut it, control X and control V. All right, and now we should have net income as the total. So this is gonna be 
net income. And I'm gonna sum this up. And this is the moment of truth because we should come up to the net income that ties out to what is on the income statement. Down here at the 1324 